Okay, today we're going to look at using simulations or models to make predictions. And we're going to talk about compound probability. One of the things you might want to do is like order a sandwich. And your choices are white bread or wheat bread. How could we simulate that without actually having people order sandwiches? Well, you could have them flip a coin. Heads being white bread, tails being wheat bread. So that would be one way to, to simulate having that choice or to model having that choice. Another way to model having choices would be with what kind of, what kind do you, do you want ham, do you want turkey, do you want chicken? We could use a one, two, or three for that. So you could spin a spinner. If it landed on two, hey, that means it wanted turkey. If it landed on one, that means it wanted ham. Now to combine the two together to model ordering a sandwich, we could flip a coin and spin the spinner. And say we got tails and three. Well, that means they wanted wheat bread with chicken. And so that's just a way to actually simulate an experiment without actually having people go out and order sandwiches. It's easier to model the experiment than it is to actually have people do it. And that's one of the reasons we use models, because it's easier.